everybody it is cold 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 welcome back guys joe again here from third world aquatics it is february the 13th the temperature is 21 beautiful degrees and the wind chill is probably five look at this pond right here we are frozen over somewhere down there are Whole bunch of koi that have been living for about 15 years this is just a natural pond we don't do anything with it life uh life does what life has got to do right here here comes springtime them boys will pop back up and uh looks kind of looks kind of sweet just wanted to show you this real quick we are getting ready to push off uh a little bit of a fish run today, kind of a, another kind of a unique, exciting thing that is unfolding. A buddy of mine, Jonathan, down in the Columbus area, <clears throat> is ready to move on. He's got an aquarium, 540 gallon tank. But what's kind of catching my eye on this one is that it's 12 foot long. And uh, I kind of like that, 12 by 3 by 2. So it's fully stocked. I uh, expect John's going to be here any moment. And uh, we're going to go on a little car ride. It's about two and a half hours to get there. Roughly about 160 some miles. And uh, should be a good time. So I just wanted to point out this pond real quick. Man, is it cold. Whew. All right, let's jump into let's jump in the vehicle. Let's start rolling south. Guys, we have arrived at Jonathan's house, and look at this thing. What is? Is this a 180? Uh, the 200. What is it? 300. Oh, it's 300. I thought it was yeah. six foot. That's actually it's, eight yeah, foot. It's 96 by 30 by 24. Holy cow! Look at these guys. I see the angels. And what is? They're that's Geovegas of some sort. Sveni and Manakirupo Redback Scalera. That is a beautiful setup. That geophagus looks a little bit different than the geophagus that I normally see. It's almost like they have a lair tail on them. Yeah, they were two or three years ago really scarce. And now I'm out of looking at, you know, four fish for the best part, but they're easier to come by. They spawn all the time, but they never take the babies out. Wow, that is beautiful. Actually, actually the aquascaping is gorgeous. That's uh, my buddy Josh, you know. Oh, Josh did this? Yeah. We know Josh, and not to be confused with Josh from OFR. This is the Josh from Columbus. Wow, that is that is very nice. That big sail fin. I think I got him in two thousand and three. Where's he at? Right there in the front middle. So I think he's. I've oh, had right him. there. I didn't see him. Yeah, I've had him for eighteen years. You've had him for eighteen years. Yeah. And what is this one? Uh, I think it's just like a chocolate sailfin, by the trade name. I'm getting a lot of reflection. That's, that's kind of hard to see this. Look at that, though. Yeah, he's at least 20, I would say. That's a gorgeous pleco. Wow. There's a gold nugget and another little small one in there, but you barely see them. Yeah, this is, this is nice. 
All right, guys, let's go downstairs and see the rest of the fish. All right, guys, Jonathan now is informing me of some, some new information here. Explain that again. So the tank? The, the tank comes in the sliding door in the back, through the kitchen, down these steps, into this room, and then down these steps, through this wall. And you can kind of see where the holes go. All right, so Jonathan's now informing me that he has to cut a hole in the wall to even get the aquarium out. So that's something I didn't know about. He's saying he's, he actually had to cut this out. This tank is 12 foot long, so let's go take a look at this thing. There it is. I haven't cleaned it, done anything with it forever. So Holy nuts! It is where it is. So wait a minute, you... Yeah, it goes... You cut goes, the wall. And then it goes through there. To there. So you had to open this up. Yeah, so I took everything off of this. The tank slides through here. Back to this fridge. I didn't move the fridge, but it would probably be easier if I did. And then... So it just barely sneaks through here? Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, this is a serious operation. Yeah, it would take at least... I think we did it with five guys. You guys thought I was bad with the crane with the 900. This guy, this guy does it too. <laughs> you saw that video, didn't you? Yeah. I think those days should be over. Yeah, wow, so look at this. The, the Severums have been getting beat up on this. Crossy Oscars, those are the last fish I bought. Probably they've been in there eight months. And they've been knocking those Severums around. All right, so let's talk about this. So the tank is 12 foot long, three feet front to back, and 24 inches tall. And that definitely looks like about a half inch thick. Yeah, it's inch, inch, half all the way around. With the exception of that panel that I put, yeah, I got I put on there, there that I believe was an inch. So what do we got going on here? We have a lot of clown loaches. I see that. Actually, the severums are fighting there. Mm -hmm. I think it's a little. Uh, We've got the wide bar severums, right? Um, wide bar silver dollars. Wide bar silver dollars. There's a bunch of banded acaras in there. That red severum's a key red librifer. Right here. Yep. The right. Oscars are. Grassy Oscars. This is the lone triport hatchet I have left. I have like okay. 10 of them upstairs. All right, hold on. So this guy right here, what is this again? It's a triport hatchet. But I had like 10 of them in that tank upstairs. And then when I redid it, I put them in here and they get around. Now you had two different styles of Acaras? Is that what you were saying earlier? Bandits and then... Point that out. Right here, is this the... That... That's a turquoise severum from Jeff Rapps. All of those are the same except that one Libra I pointed out. Um, There's the Oscar. Geophagus wine malaria left in the back. The, Wait a minute, who's that again? One more time? Uh, Geophagus wine malaria. I don't know if I've got a, oh, he's already, took, he's already taken off. Um, the cars, I can't remember the exact name of those ones. I think they're called Matai, M-A-T-A-E. There's several of those. There's a bandit there, one of the small ones. But the bandits have, the bigger ones have like humps on their heads. These wide bars are huge. Yeah, they're bigger in your hand. Now how many are, those, are in there? One, two, I three, four, four. I see four for sure. I lost one. They, one jumped out of this small opening and actually landed in a bucket that I found them up a week later. Oh. Yeah, I mean, the, the wide bars have value, but the loaches are uh, the, the kings. Most of them, including the big one, are oddballs. Look at that guy. Now he is a, he's about eight inches, maybe nine. That big one right there. Yeah, they haven't grown it off since I've had them. I've had them, kind of like you said, if you, went, if you look back at that build thread, I think I put it on there. Well, that was the other thing I wanted to point out, guys. So you did a, a build on this aquarium and a, a if I remember when I first met you, it was on Monster Fish Keepers. Yes. That was about five, six years ago. Yeah, I think this tank, I've had it for probably close to six and it's had water in it. Explain that a little bit. That was, uh, it was just a build. What section is that in under Monster Fish Keepers? If somebody wanted to uh, look, look that up right now. I think, forever. I think it's set up and filtration and set up or whatever it would have been. Filtration and set up section, uh, guys. Uh, 
he did a build out on this particular tank five six years ago it's on monster fish keepers you'd have to go look it up that's where i seen this tank for the very first time because you were polishing this thing yeah and you spent out. an incredible amount of man hours what did it would you oh, say about a hundred man hours yeah, I would say I have at least a hundred in it probably more now where did the tank come from originally you said up north uh, Do we know who made this particular tank? I am not for sure. Alright, so what's the plans now? Why why uh moving forward? What's going on? Why are you getting rid of this? Yeah, I'm just downsizing. This should be upstairs on the main floor. I don't think it would fit. That's the thing. I don't know, your house is pretty big. <laughs> well, I don't think it would fit on that wall. So you're just uh, you're just breaking it down and moving on with this particular one. Yeah. Wow, that is gorgeous. So as far as filtration, what's going on here? It's just a hundred gallon that I've made fairly open with socks and just a bunch of different media. It drips probably sixty gallons a day. I think I drip yeah, probably fifty five or sixty in a minute. You're saying you have an auto top off that's going on right now? Yeah. You're introducing 60 gallons per day? Yeah, I think it's an 80 gallon. Uh, oh, wow, that's pretty good. An 80 gallon restrictor in the bulk of it goes into this thing. I've never cleaned this thing. That's another beautiful setup. Did Was Josh involved in this one too, or? Um, or just going all you? Some of the driftwood, I think. I, I, can't, I haven't done it. Hard to stay focused right now, this thing. There we go. All right, guys. Well, this is a 540 gallon tank, 12 feet long, three feet front to back, and two foot tall. Holy cow, I gotta keep backing up so I can get the whole thing in here. Gorgeous tank. I think we're going to be seeing this tank uh, fairly soon work its way north. But it's not going to be fresh water. Stay tuned for that one. I want to point out the universal rock, this backdrop. It's over here on the right hand side and all the way down the back of the tank. It's kind of hard to see with the reflection. Where, now where did you get that from? Is that something that yeah, the company came in? Yeah, that's a company that's out in Arizona, I think. They do, like, swimming pool grottos. They do commercial stuff. And then he will cut smaller pieces. Now, is that, like, one panel, or is that several panels brought together? Uh, there's more than one. I can't remember. I think. It's, it's hard to point those out, guys, but there's a... There's a backdrop on, on this aquarium, the whole length of the aquarium, all 12 foot, and then it comes down around this back corner and up to one side. And it's very rustic looking. Really changes the, uh, the look of this particular aquarium. And I just can't get the right angle. Yeah, if you look Check. at the website, I think I remember they tell you where that was molded. I thought I saw this one section. You can kind of see it right here, how it's put in. It's very three-dimensional. But I'm not getting a good angle on it. I really can't show it. But it definitely makes this tank stand out. So I'm noticing he has an overflow box. It's on the back wall, and it looks like it's about six by eight inches. And it's at least four foot long, could be five. And that water enters that box, and I've got the camera right up against the glass because I'm trying to not have any reflection. 
and the water, once it falls into the back of that overflow box, there's three supply lines that go down to the filtration system. Let me take you back there. And now here you can see where the water takes off to the 100 gallon Rubbermaid sump below. It probably has one pipe there for the emergency overflow if an event something gets sour. And you can see them working their way down and into the sump. Looks like he also has a UV sterilizer over here. And you can see a little bit of that, the back side of that universal rock. That's what you're seeing right there. That is not algae, that is the back side of that uh, rock formation. Once the water goes through the filtration system, it hits a dart motor and it'll pump back up into the corners of the tank. Let me show you that right now. Here's one right here. This is a two inch return. It's on both ends of the aquarium. And there it is right there. So just one more look here at the fish. Jonathan was explaining to me that, uh, so he's had these clown loaches for at least six years and when he got them they were already four or five years old. Very slow grower. Gorgeous fish. There is well over 30 fish in this particular aquarium. And we did actually find a Pictus catfish in here. Let me try to find him real quick. There he is right there. I'll try to zoom in. See that or not? He's kind of hiding up the underneath the uh, the wood and the rock right there. That's his tail. Great aquarium, beautiful setup. There's one of the hatchets. These wide bars are huge. different styles of Oscars there. Looks great. Awesome setup. Yeah. Alright guys, we're on trip number two to Jonathan's house. We just drove uh, about two and a half hours. We're now just north of Columbus. We've come up with a game plan. Uh, we actually had to come back to the house after me and him busted out the deal. So we're already set up. Me and Jack kind of prepped a scene last night at the house. We've got a 150 gallon Rubbermaid container and there's the 100. Got all of our weapons up there. And so we're going to go ahead and start pumping water and start relocating these fish that are downstairs in the 540 gallon 12 foot long tank. So we go downstairs and flip the switch and up is going to come the water. All right, we've started pumping water. We've got a hose that wraps all the way around Jonathan's side yard and front yard and works its way all the way to the van. And with that, we are pumping the water. Got one of those Cichés in the aquarium, 1,900 gallons an hour, so hopefully that uh, starts working out pretty good. So other than that, here are the fish that you just saw probably a few moments ago. In the earlier parts of this video. Like I said, this is split up a little bit. It's uh, It's been about 10 days since the fir 
first portion of this video to right now because we had to kind of reschedule things and come back down here to uh, just the northern part of the Columbus area to grab these fish. So we're going to drain this down, fill up that 150 in the 100 gallon rubber rate container, probably 60% in both containers. And then uh, we'll start scooping fish here pretty soon and start working our way back and forth. All right, put the camera down and let's get scooping here pretty soon. All right, I thought I'd just give you guys a quick look. Here's the 150 to 100. All the fish are in. You can see our unique little contraption that we do for uh, relocating fish or rescues. Uh, we got heaters in both aquariums, double pumps. Put that lid back on and uh, we just tie those down and away we go. So we're going to secure this for the, for the travels. And uh, let's see in a little bit. All right. Well, that was unique. That wasn't the easiest job, but all the fish, 30 of them, maybe even more. I don't know the exact count, but they are all gone. 540-gallon aquarium has uh, got about an inch and a half worth of water left in it. So we're good to go. I think we're going to stop here today. We're going to start working our way north. I know we're supposed to make a couple stops along the way. And I think what's going to probably happen here, another 30, 40 days, we're going to come back down for round three and grab the uh, all the equipment, stand and the aquarium. Probably all the rock. We took a lot of rock out. And uh, the filtration system. So more work to do. But uh, at, least all the, at least all the livestock is gone. We'll get those home and get them in their appropriate tanks. Probably do some uh, quarantine on all of those guys. And uh, I think we should be looking good. So I guess we'll be back to get this tank in a couple, uh, couple weeks. But there it is, a 540-gallon tank. We will see you in a little bit. Until then, we're signing off. We're out of here.